exciting moments on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Yesterday marked Mozart's 260th birthday. Yes, that is, if he was still around. But this uh, composer and musician, he played different instruments since the age of three and then went on to share his talent with the world. Well, now we get to celebrate him even more with a series of concerts from tomorrow until the 7th of February. And this is at the Johannesburg International Mozart Festival. And of course, we had to take the opportunity to get there. Though the name Mozart is widely known, how much do music lovers know about his seemingly charmed life? He could write music before he wrote words. I think that's why music is more powerful than words in the first place. He started playing the clavier when he was three years old. He composed his first symphony when he was eight. Well, he was a child prodigy and he was apparently psychologically a little bit unbalanced, but he was very brilliant in, in terms of composing music. I know that he can listen to music once and then play it without errors. For over two centuries, the music of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart has influenced traditions of worship, art and celebration across the world. And on the anniversary of his birthday, Johannesburg kicks off a festival in his honor. The Joburg International Mozart Festival is about celebrating music. Over the years it's grown into now a two-week festival and about 18 to 20 events, local events, international events. It's really a focused two weeks of music in Johannesburg. We have fantastic musicians in South Africa. We have fantastic musicians coming from overseas to join us and help us to present this program. I love making music and I want to share that love and passion with the people who come to the concerts. So we try to make as wide a variety of music as possible available to the public. Mozart composed over 600 works and inspired 18th century peers such as Beethoven, who along with contemporary composers will feature in the program performed by local and internationally acclaimed artists. There are some very interesting people playing in the festival. Every performance is different, but all of them have this exotic theme woven through them, which links the whole thing together. But we've also got some wonderful local performances. Buscade, for example, the Johannesburg Festival Orchestra played last weekend, and having foreigners come to South Africa, they bring the European experience to us. We show them what we can do in Africa. We have many great musicians here, and they make sure that the standard is high, that we fly the flag of music in South Africa, and that we share what we love doing with the general public. The Viennese child protege began performing for monarchs at age six and wrote half of his symphonies between age eight and 19. His legacy empowers and inspires young musicians from disadvantaged backgrounds to believe that anything is possible. The vision is to give musicians from the townships mainly Soweto, um, the opportunity to play classical music, to play instruments, stringed instruments, and out of that various standards of musician will emerge, some of them professionals. Of course music is an international language. It doesn't matter what colour, what age we are, we're all playing classical music together. The relevance of Mozart's music today is rooted in cognitive rewards and is intensely studied for seemingly increasing baby's intelligence, soothing seizures and improving focus. I think his feeling for music, he had a passion for music, so if you listen to other composers versus Mozart, it's a different feel, it's more soulful and less according to a certain rhythm. His music is very coherent. I think in a very chaotic world, it helps us settle down, it creates coherent brain waves. We need that. The musical legend comes alive once again at the Johannesburg International Mozart Festival and all ears are welcome.